are you trying to decide between these two beauties? The trendy CC in the size small or the classic flat in the size medium? Well, this is the video for you. Let me help you. Today's video is a comparison between the Chanel CC and the classic flap, the one and only classic flap. I am here to do a quick comparison for you to see which one we prefer, which one we think is value for money. Neither. <laughs> oh, they're just far too much money, these bags. Anyway, before we get started, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. Whilst you're there, you can press my bell and a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Sit back, relax, grab yourself your favourite beverage and cheers! So in this video, I am going to do mod shots of both bags. I am going to take my items from the Chanel Trendy because at the moment it is filled with my items probably slightly more than I would like to put in it and I will put them or I will try and put them into my medium classic flap. Let me tell you a little about each bag then I'm going to turn the camera down show you what fits and what doesn't and go over the bag properly. Okay so here I have the Chanel Trendy CC, which was first introduced to us in 2014. This bag has three compartments and this bag is not a classic. As you can see, it has a top handle and it has a long strap and the strap is now non-detachable. It used to be detachable. It is now a non-detachable strap. And I have all my stickers on it and it doesn't have any feet on it and this one is in lambskin and the trendy CC only comes in lambskin you can get it both in gold hardware and silver hardware you can get it in the chevron style but they're all seasonal so you know they're not they don't come out always in chevron you can get it in bigger quilts but it only comes in the lambskin and this comes in three sizes so this is the size small you have the size medium and you have the large so as you can see the size small is quite a big bag then we have the classic flap this is in the medium size it's quite a small bag for a medium bag this comes in various materials so mine is in the caviar leather which is a uh, peppled calf leather it also comes in tweed it also comes in lambskin seasonal bags come with you know stars and patterns on them it really does come out in seasonal formats as well so this bag does not have a top handle it does not have the gold bar like the the trendy but it does have the double cc's when this bag was first introduced in 1955 it did not have the interlocking cc's it had the mademoiselle lock so no cc's this style of bag was introduced, the CCs were introduced in the 1980s. Both bags 
feature the woven chain so the original one that was introduced in 1955 it was a complete chain it didn't have this woven chain and you'll see when I'm comparing the two bags side by side that they both have the Mona Lisa pocket at the back which really doesn't fit much but this one because it has been used is easier to get in and out of at the moment they both have compartments but I will show you all that when I get into them and this doesn't have feet either now these bags are both highly priced and to see the most recent price all you have to do is go onto the Chanel website since I bought this bag it, <sighs> it has more than doubled in price this bag has already gone up a few hundred pounds since I bought it so they are both going up in price even though this isn't a classic it has been coming out season after season and it has really jumped up in price as well this is in the color lilac and it is getting washed out in the camera but it is a very changeable color it's a pinky lilac color and of course this is the traditional color black they are both leather interior bags and they are one of very few bags that are made by chanel that are leather interior bags as well i mean i have the boy right here and this although this is a classic this does not have a leather interior it has the leather flap but then when you get inside the boy bag it is lined with man-made lining the difference when the bags are made of leather on the inside one it makes them heavier because obviously leather is heavier than material you know kind of the lining that they use and the other thing is it ups the price it certainly does okay let me turn the camera down I know as much as you like looking at me I'm going to turn it down on two other beauties <laughs> so here we have the bags side by side so you can see immediately that the trendy is taller than the medium classic flap and when you turn them to the side again you can see how much wider the trendy is bearing in mind this does have um things in it and this is empty but it is a much wider bag lengthwise when you look at them they look roughly the same when you look at them lengthwise like this they are more or less the same when you turn the bag round you can see that they have the Mona Lisa pocket at the bag this is a deeper pocket obviously because the bag is taller but lengthwise they look the same this one is has been stretched so you can easily get into it this hasn't been used and because the bag is filled it's really tight and because of the color of this bag I probably wouldn't use this back pocket as you can see the trendy has the top handle which doesn't sit flat down on the bag but slightly moves on the rings here it has the beautiful Chanel plate which for me makes this trendy line the Chanel classic flap obviously doesn't they both feature the interwoven chain the classic one is shorter than the trendy this can be kind of doubled up so you can use it on the crook of your arm this cannot but this will go into the bag and I'll show you all of that when I empty it neither of the bags have feet like I said and they both feature the beautiful CC lock the this is champagne hardware it is very light gold and this is the really deep yellow gold like so mine hasn't tarnished it hasn't lightened it's absolutely beautiful and oh I don't know I have I've lost count of how old this bag is okay let me open the bags up 
so when you open the classic flap you have the traditional flap like so and the burgundy inside that's a quick overview of what the bag looks like and i'll just open up the trendy as well and have a look what's inside the bag we'll just move the chanel bag and that's what i have in the bag just now and honestly this is slightly more than i like to carry in here because for that amount of things it's it's not an easy close it does close but i kind of have to press it in and you know it's a, not how i would like to close the bag okay so as you can see the chanel trendy cc has one two three main compartments in the back compartment it has a zip which i haven't used and in the front compartment there it has two pockets which do not fit your phone in if you put your phone in it kind of it's higher than it should be so it's probably designed like the classic flap where you use it for a compact and so on you also have the lipstick holder but anyway let me show you exactly what i've got in here so in my lipstick holder i have the lipstick that i'm wearing which is this chanel christmas limited edition one of maybe last year or the year before i have a mirror and a brush in one of the pockets you know that type of thing in one of the front pockets there and i have my airpods as well in the other pocket and I also have my mask which we now have to carry so that's what that looks like and just there in the front as well I have my phone which is the iPhone 12 there we go and that's what that pocket there features and then we have the middle pocket which to me is the biggest pocket the other thing I will say is when you do fill these front pockets here it gives you less space in here to put items so i have my lv agenda in the pm size and i also have my mini pochette as well which really is filled up so in there i have tissues i have hand sanitizer i have a spare mask i have an inhaler i have rescue rem remedies sweeteners so all my kind of little necessities are in the uh, mini pochette so it is really bulked out and that's all i have in the middle pocket and that's what that looks like in the back pocket i have my chanel coin purse which is also filled out with cards and change so that's filled out as well this is probably one of my favorite little purses and i also have my six key holder as well which does have keys in it i love this piece but it's in a one so it's it's been resting for a while now and i'm using my little pouch anyway back to the bag so this is what the bag looks like and now that i have both bags empty i will compare the insides of the bag just so we can look and then i will put those items or as many as i can into the classic flap so here we have the bags this is what they look like so when you open up the trendy cc like i said the interior is all leather throughout it's just beautiful you also have the cc's stitched on like that and this is like the jumbo the bigger size to this the next size up to this so it's just stitching of the cc's on the medium classic flap when you open up the second flap you can also see the stitched cc's just there but as you can see these are slightly different these ones are raised and that's the difference between this and the jumble the size bigger so that's similar but different again raised cc's flat cc's then as you can see the classic flap has the second flap 
and when you open it up you have the main compartment of the bag just here you have the two pockets just here again where you would put your compact and your mirror or whatever you like to use and here you also have your lipstick holder as well you also have another compartment just here and at the back you also have this back pocket where you can put all your secret love letters and then you have this useless zip here so this is the double flap this is why this is called the double flap because you have the one flap and you have the second flap as well incidentally here in the UK this in the Chanel boutiques is a flap bag with top handle this is how this is referred to if you're looking for it so don't put in trendy CC although the essays here do refer to it as a trendy when you're on the Chanel website you put a flap bag with top handle so that's the interiors of the bag that's what they look like so let's see now what we can fit into the classic flap so obviously I'm going to go with the main compartment and we'll go with the mini pochette and that really doesn't close, it's far too tall whereas in the trendy this could stand so I'm going to have to put that down flat and there is, there's no chance I'm going to fit this in here. So we'll put the key holder there and I'll put my phone in there and I'll put my lipstick, I'll try and put my lipstick in there just see if it closes at that, yes it does so let's see if we can put the mirror and brush in there and the iPods in the other pocket and the mask and even at that that's really tight it's I'm struggling to close that so I put nothing in this pocket here and I've just kind of sat my mask on the top there so let's see if this closes so there we go, that's closed as it is. So there was no way I was going to fit that in there, although I could fit it in the trendy. So obviously the trendy fits a lot more, but not as much as you would think. I'm sure somebody would notice that I didn't try and fit my little coin purse in the classic flap. It had fallen on the floor. So these are the two items that didn't fit into the classic flap, but did fit into the Chanel trendy. Cheers! So as you can see even though this is empty it's still much wider than the classic flap. It is quite a bulky bag and that's why I don't like to use this bag crossbody although the chain is long enough to use crossbody. So that's the comparison of the two bags. For me they are both absolutely beautiful bags and I love that I have them both in my collection. If I could only have one of these bags, I would go for the classic. And that's because it is the classic. But there's no denying that the Trendy is a beautiful bag. And it has all the things that the classic doesn't have. But the thing for me with the classic and why I love the classic, I love the history of this bag. And because I love bags, that's what draws me right in the fact that it has this double flap it just makes it so unique there is no other bag that i can think of that has this double flap the beautiful history that goes behind it the history that goes behind each pocket and why it was designed that way the color of the interior the chain of the bag the handle of the bag all that history that we all know that goes behind this bag is 
For me, that's what makes this bag stand out. It is such an individual bag. This bag is beautiful. Now, with the Trendy CC, what I absolutely love about this bag is that Chanel plate on the top. For me, that's what makes this bag and that's what makes this bag stand out. And I absolutely love this style of bag. This is my favourite style of bag. When it has a pocket at the back, when it has a top handle, when it has a flap opening and the different compartments. And you can see that with the type of bags. My YSL is the same style and my Pochette Metis is exactly that style. The pocket at the back, the compartments, the flap, top handle, long strap. Now I'm going to do the mod shots and you will see in the mod shots that even though this can be worn as a crossbody, it's not the type of bag that I would personally wear crossbody because of the thickness here. I don't think it sits quite right as a crossbody. If I were looking to wear a crossbody bag, I would wear my Pochette Metis. This can be worn crossbody, but it's very high. It's kind of, it'll be sitting here, but I'll show you all of that in the mod shots. Okay, here's well. the bag worn over the shoulder. So this is where it comes to. The bag in the crook of the arm. Beautiful, here we go. This is the bag crossbody. This is where it sits. So as you can see, it is quite bulky there. There we go. That's how the bag sits. Like so. Here we have the strap doubled up on the classic flap. So here is the strap pulled through as a shoulder bag. And here we have it as a crossbody. It's not actually that bad as a crossbody, you know, now that the bum bags where they're wearing them quite short. But, you know, if you not with this outfit anyway, you wouldn't wear it crossbody with this outfit. So that's what the uh, medium classic flap looks like. And the other thing I was going to show you as well, that you can pull in the strap and sit it in the back pocket there but bearing in mind when you've got things in the in the pocket you're not going to be able to do that so the chain can be fed in up to the leather strap and then you would just simply hold the leather strap over your top handle like so so you would hold it like that now the only thing i can't compare here is the wear and tear of the bags I do have other lambskin bags and I haven't had any problem with them but I have seen lots of reviews where they say this particular bag is very delicate and scratches very easily and as you can see in this light colour but anyway I can't do a comparison on that I do know that this one has worn superbly there is no wear on it and I have used this one so so much Quite often I've wondered if I should have maybe got this in the lambskin. Now that I have the jumbo in the calf leather. The other thing is when you look at the quilting of the two bags as well, the quilting on this bag, it just gets so washed out. Let's see if we can catch it. You can see the quilting on this bag is much bigger than the quilting on the classic flap. I'm trying to catch it in the right light so it doesn't wash it out. So that's my little comparison of this two little beauties. I hope it has helped you if you're trying to decide on which bag to get or if you're trying to decide whether it's worth adding the other one. For me, I love that I have them both and they're two totally different bags. And that's why I also got the trendy in a light colour because it's supposed to be a more delicate bag and it just added a little variety to the bags and the colours that I already have and it is an absolutely stunning bag. So that's my comparison. Let's do a quick summary of what I think of the bags. Personally, I'm glad I have them both in my collection because they are very different bags. I feel as if, you know, if you're 
if you love bags you need to have the classic and although this is not a classic I see it personally as a classic and it's just a beautiful bag and um, if you're trying to decide between the two and the price is not going to make a difference to you definitely you need a classic flap in your collection and then save up for the uh, trendy CC okay that's my quick comparison of the two bags if you have any questions and just leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you if you would like me to do any more comparisons maybe between the boy bag or whatever again ask away in the comments and I'll try and get that done for you so thank you very much for watching if you would like to see more videos from me I'm gonna link one here here and if you're not already subscribed just press the A right here and I'll see you next time bye cheers